As current chairman of Bridging the Gap, I work with the talented board of directors to lead the organisation through its 30th year of operations. These directors volunteer their valuable time and expertise to support the fabulous work that Bridging the Gap does for the disadvantaged, disenfranchised and disabled in our society. We board members are in awe of what this organisation has done for 30 years. We feel it is a big but worthwhile responsibility to ensure our 90 staff have a job today and tomorrow so they can help literally thousands of others in our region get and keep a job. I would like to congratulate long-serving CEO Colin Kerr, the managers and each staff member for their fantastic efforts in the past and encourage them to keep up the good work into our 30th year and beyond. Bridging the Gap was formed in 1979 in Melbourne by Fred Phillips, after he formed a collective of company executives to become coaches to help young people find work. The concept was so successful that 12 more branches were opened around Australia. Bridging the Gap Rockingham Kunana opened its doors in 1984 at 20 Pace Road in Medina. With one part-time employee, it was one of four Bridging the Gap offices in Perth. A major change occurred in 1998 when Bridging the Gap Rockingham Kunana joined Job Futures a national network of community-based not-for-profit organisations providing employment services. This enabled us to be part of a large tender for job services and also deliver the Green Corps program on behalf of Job Futures. In 2003, Bridging the Gap Rockingham Kwinana and Bridging the Gap South elected to join forces and become Bridging the Gap Incorporated. Peak Limited, the town of Kunana and Bridging the Gap came together with an idea for a community nursery which could help young people learn new skills and potentially find jobs. Nulla was established in 2006. The Medina Aboriginal Cultural Community provided land at Kajarina and funding came from the federal government. It has now become a training and community centre with a wide variety of activities such as traineeships, work for the doll projects and green army projects. In 2009, Bridging the Gap branches opened in both Wembley and Mandra, greatly extending the reach of our employment services. For 30 years, Bridging the Gap's core focus has been to help local people secure work. We do that by focusing on the individual's needs, whether it be improving their life skills, job search and interview skills or vocational training. We provide much of this training in-house with a highly skilled training team and well-equipped training facilities in both Rockingham and Mandra as well as an outdoor training and environmental facility at Nulla. Bridging the Gap's definitely changed my life. Uh, to start, not long after the GFC, uh, I was retrenched from employment. I had no savings, I was trying to support my wife and two young children. After some time unemployed, uh, paying the mortgage and bills was becoming a real issue and causing a lot of stress. Centrelink then referred me to Bridging the Gap to help me find employment. Then they gave me my first break. Uh, they offered me a role as a team leader within their Green Jobs project. So I had a previous horticultural experience. I must have done okay because after the funding for that program was cancelled, they then offered me a youth worker role within their Youth Connections team, where I continued to grow and develop my skills. My time with Bridging the Gap was a great experience and my career has continued to develop ever since. I now work for the Department of Education, supporting young people to find uh, further suitable pathways into education and training. I can say if it wasn't for bridging the gap, I wouldn't be where I am today. Thanks. I dropped out halfway through year 12 and I was looking for a job then. Um, then I, this opportunity came up with an apprenticeship doing stonemason. So I did a, about one year trade in stonemason and then my boss's business went down a bit and he had no work so he put apprenticeship on hold for six months. So I just went looking for something different. Then I got introduced into the Daru Puna Foundation and they kind of helped me and they got me into a cert two in horticulture. 
I got about halfway through that and this opportunity out in Allah Nursery come up in the Aboriginal training. It's helped me a lot, it's got me back on track and I felt a bit down when uh, my apprenticeship went on a hold and I was a bit lost for about a, about a half a year. Then everything come back and it's helped me and I'm back up there now. I use Bridging the Gap to get people back that are in our Mandurah local community back into a job. I personally know what it's like to not have a job um, and to send out all the resume, like to send out your resumes and get a no response. So I want to help the local community get back into a job. Providing a trusted and personalised services for 30 years has made us the unique organisation that we are today. We can't rest on our laurels because the world is changing and we need to change with it. More providers are entering the marketplace and government funding, contracts and grants are becoming more difficult to win. At the same time, we want to be able to help anyone improve their skills and employability, not just those that are covered under government contracts. We are responding to these challenges in two ways. Firstly, by using our extensive networks and forming partnerships with like-minded organisations. Our Indigenous traineeship program with CSBP is a great example of that. Secondly, by expanding our services, for example, our new business services help not just job seekers refer to us, but anyone interested in developing their career through resume building and career guidance. We're also helping employers to find their ideal recruits with a tailored service ranging from preparing job descriptions and advertisements through to providing candidates. In other words, we're using the skills that we've built up as an organisation in innovative ways. Aspire is a personalised service that specifically works with clients in the, the Kwinana region who are affected by long-term or, or generation unemployment. It's a pastoral care model that offers counselling slash mentoring, but also helps facilitate support networks that are relevant to client need. Some of the outcomes that we're looking for are employment outcomes, training outcomes, uh, social engagement and referral to appropriate care options. Our underlying motive is, is that of compassion, but that is to give a, a hand up rather than a hand out. So CSBP has been looking for ways to increase their Aboriginal employment and uh, as part of the WESCEF employment and engagement plan. Um, so, um, and land care was identified as an area we could focus on. And so we approached Bridging the Gap about a trainee partnership. We now have the two trainees who have started uh, working through their CERT to in conservation and land management. And they're training at Nulla and their uh, work experience here on our Konana site. Uh, it's early days yet, but uh, hopefully it's a win-win for CSBP, uh, bridging the gap and of course the two trainees. Innovative, empowering, supportive. They are very compassionate, very approachable and very, very fair. Bridging the gap means to me giving people opportunities, opportunities that possibly they never had before and Bridging the Gap does it exceptionally well. Bridging the Gap is my second home, it's my family. Um, I've been here nine, almost nine years and I love it. I love the people, I love the place, I love what we stand for, what we do. I think it will help me in my future job, job prospects to be able to do this course and to do all this sort of stuff and it will help lead on in life. Bridging the Gap's helped me a lot. I've learnt so much doing the certificate to in business. It, my brain feels like a sponge, like I'm back in school. I'm learning so much and it's been amazing getting to know everyone and the lecturers have helped me a lot. Oh, a real sense of achievement. Yeah, most definitely. They come in, it's a one-week program, so they come in to, to work in the workshop and at the beginning of the week they're kind of really demotivated and quite disengaged and by the end of the week they're really excited. Yeah, I've just joined recently and I can already feel the difference this organisation is making to the community and the country as a whole. Well, we're extremely helpful, we're very passionate about our training, uh, we'd love to see the people producing results and getting back into employment. I enjoy working for Bridging the Gap because I feel part of a team. 
the thrill and excitement of getting our job seekers into education, training and employment. It's a really positive work environment here. There's always someone having a laugh and it's just really fun to work here. Came into a family environment, really nice for me. Um, and being the only guy, I fit in really well. Smart, genuine, nice people. We've built our networks and capability over 30 years and our clients and partners rate bridging the gap as a top performer. I'm really proud of what we've achieved and I want to thank all those people that have helped to build the organisation over the years. We have a bright future too, by expanding our services within our core focus of empowering people and building communities, I expect that bridging the gap will go from strength to strength over the next 30 years.